You should hear the racket my neighbor's guineas are making. If I so much as step over there where they can see me. <sighs> they're on my side eating bugs though, so I don't mind. As long as they're eating bugs, but oh my lord. That's worse than a bunch of women at a tops convention, I swear. Well, guess what? When I talked about needing more pressure, be careful what you wish for. Oh yeah. Left mother's this morning about 11 on my way home. Saw the chickies, didn't cam them this time. The little one is still alive, in case you all was curious. She can't seem to use her feet, but her legs work fine. I think she'll come out of it. Mother's really babying her and she's drinking and eating, so. Good hope. Chickens have a real recovery. They're just really kind of, they can be really super delicate and they can be really super resilient. I had one that was cut all the way to the bone one time from an animal and she lived another two, three years. So you never know with a chicken. But anyway, my phone rang. I wasn't quite home. I was just about to the curve over there. <laughs> and uh, my phone rang and it was my lead staff, bless her heart. She fell off her porch last night. I knew she was probably hurt and she's my age. So the railing gave way. I said, yeah, it's because your husband wouldn't repair it. Am I right? Am I right? She's kind of like, yep, you're right. <laughs> See all you men out there when you don't repair your porches? Your wives get hurt. He didn't really care, but I guess when she got home, it jarred her so much that she started getting sick. So she called me today and asked me if I'd work for her. And I said, sure, can I come back at three? It's 11 now. <laughs> so, uh, I went in the house. I have fed everybody. I found Juliet in my house. I wish I had my camera with me. They say belay felders are, uh, you know, super tame, and they are. It's the tamest chicken I've ever had, so I can't wait till she starts laying eggs next year when she's a year old and I can start raising some of them because she come running up to me and hugged me. A chicken, never been in my house before, found her way into my house, found her way out of her pen, found her way across the yard, up the ramp, into my back door. When I came home, she was like, hi, mom, I'm home. I'm like, why, yes, you are, Julie. Give mama a hug. And so I took her back out and put her in the little pen and locked her in tight with uh, Romeo. <laughs> she wasn't very happy, but she's safe. That's the whole point. So uh, everybody's locked up tight, fed, watered. Do you hear the guineas? One of them saw me. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that scared them so bad they quit yelling. <laughs> and anyway, back to work I go. I, I will work until 8 o'clock tomorrow now from 3 to 8. And um, But the checks are wonderful when this happens, so I can't complain. I just wish I was home cleaning on my house. You know, it's dark in there. I shouldn't show you this. There's my... Uh, beanbag chair, which is not beans, it's some sort of soft stuff. And my sister gave me this. This is one of my old goat's horns. Isn't that just gross? I love that goat. <laughs> I kept his horns, but it is pretty. She did a beautiful job on it. All right, in the house we go for just a little bit till I have to leave. Hello guys, say hello. Scudner, Scudner's camera shy today. What are you doing down there by my leg? There we are, high five. Okay. And uh, this is my mess I'm, I'm creating. I have clothes here, trash here, furniture with clothes, laundry, trash. It's all sorted into semi, well, it makes sense to me. There's evil, she, trash. I'm just gonna throw away shoes. I've had it with that. And I've got my trunks. They're my gra grandparents, my great grandmas and my grandfathers. I've got to find a place to put those. I have a couple of bedrooms, but they're getting full. And uh, so I'm going to do that. I fixed up my Kiva. Um, I forget what else those are called. I had some Halloween lights. I put them in there and lit it up. Uh, yes, in the midst of cleaning all this garbage up, I'm decorating. That makes sense, doesn't it? But works for me. Oh, I hadn't showed you Sammy and Delilah lately. Hello, girls. Say hello. I cleaned their cage the other day, and they're busy making it their own. Hello, Delilah. What a pretty bird. Oh, her's pretty. Yes, her is. Are you going to talk to me? These two have been in my house since they were tiny babies. 
Yes, tiny baby. You were. You want to you pick at that? Come on over, Sammy. It was Samson and Delilah, but then we found out that Samson was also a girl in laid eggs, so it's Sammy and Delilah. Back into my now getting messier kitchen because I just don't have time to clean it. All right. I got to go pay some bills, do things that grown ups do. I have to go adulting, as my hat shows. I put my hat on today. I thought, eh, that'll cheer me up. At least people laughing as they walk by will cheer me up. That makes my day. <laughs> Love y'all. Keep being good to one another. We're going to make it. We will get ready for Christmas. You watch. It will happen. Like I said, I am a, I'm a pressure cleaner. It will get done. I'm going to try to upload this as fast as I can. I may have to call back mom and say, hey, hit, you know, load, whatever. She can do it. She's done it once. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you want to keep up and see if I make it. Ugh, will she make it as the stomach churns? I don't know. It's good. Say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs> spin, 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 spin. Oh, good boy. And high five. Whoa. High five. <laughs> he gets dizzy. He can't high five. <laughs> That's funny. Bye-bye.